Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to transfer system family like wall, ceiling, roof, floor to a new Revit project so that you don't need to create all of this again. Let's get started. Most of the time working in a company, you reuse assembly standards like walls, floors, roofs, and ceiling. It will be a time-consuming process if you keep on making them when you are working on a new project in Revit. There is an easy way of extracting those, and in this video, I will show you that. I will use this project as an example. So I named this project as House. And you will need that information when we open a new project. Um, and then let's see one of the walls. So if we check this wall, edit type. As you can see, there's a lot of information added here. If we check the foundation wall, you can see that there's a lot of information here as well. And also if we check the roof. And then now, what you need to do to start exporting is you need to go to File. You need to click New. And you need to open a new architecture template. So once you open your new architecture template, you will need to go to Manage and then Transfer Project Standards. Here, it will copy to the name of the project, which is, I just told you, House. And then here, everything is checked. We need to uncheck them, so check None. And then here, you will need to find specific types like we said we need ceiling, roof, floor, and wall types only. So I have ceiling types here. And then next is floor types. And then roof types. And then next is our wall types. After that, press OK. Give it time. And then once it's done, go back to architecture. If we check our walls, we will have interior wall number one and two. So if we check, I have it with information like this. Let's check the exterior. So we have exterior wall number one and two. And if we check that one, we have all information as well. Let's also check our ceiling. And then here, I have all information for our ceiling as well. And the next thing is our floor. We, are, we have our generic floor and we also have the one that came from the house project. And then lastly, let's check in the roof. And if you see, we have roof number one and two. And if we check on that, we have all the information for those. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.